Hey guys, NCS fan 001 here, welcoming you to the road to the Green Lantern Rise of the Manhunters Platinum Trophy. You're going to see actually three total trophies in this, inc not including the Platinum, so you're going to see quite a few. First thing I got to do, make Green Lantern dizzy a bunch of times. I've already done it a few times. There it is. Okay, that's one of the trophies out of the way. I was initially going to save that for last because I didn't know how long this other one was going to take. Okay, so now that that's done, you have to do it ten total times, but I only need to do it a few more times because I've been doing it a few times throughout the game. Okay, so the only trophy I have left is to, uh, well, actually the two trophies I have left are related to purchasing all upgrades, and that is a bit louder than I had intended. So those are the only two uh, things I got left to do. Uh, overall, this is a pretty easy game to platinum, but it's it's not as easy, fast, or just really, yeah, it's really just not as easy or as fast as I was initially sort of expecting it to be. It also requires quite a bit of grinding for the platinum because you have to fully upgrade all the abilities and you still need to grind out like another 140,000, well maybe not that many, but a lot of additional points. And like I said, this game wasn't really as easy as I was initially expecting on the hardest difficulty. I mean, it's not supposed to be easy on a hard difficulty, but still. Like, it was harder than I was expecting it to be for your typical game like this. This is a T-rated game. It's not necessarily like an E or E10 game like uh, Up or Cars Racer Rama and such. However, there's a really easy exploit that makes it go faster, and that is basically you just have to go in and use a second controller most of the way through and then it basically will save you a lot of the time because if you almost okay if you use a second controller it's like pretty much nothing the game can really do to you because if you if one character dies the other one just has to stay alive for 10 more seconds and the other and the down character gets revived so that's the strategy I use a lot of the time just to make it go a little faster. It would have gone even faster if I'd actually had like a second player. Unfortunately, I did not have like a second player. Ah, no, not quite. So, like I said, a little bit tougher and more time consuming than I was expecting with quite a bit of grinding required. But still, overall, fairly easy. Definitely like no worse than maybe a 3.5 out of 10. And that's more just because, like, if you don't really have the method, the two-controller method. But you do need to have a second controller to even platinum the game in the first place because there is a co-op trophy. And, like, the controls on the camera don't work too well in this game. So, yeah, it's, it's really just not that good of a game. Okay, let's buy our final upgrade. At least this time you got to see some combat in this. I don't know what that was, and I really don't care. All right, let's let the trophies pop. Yay, big spender. This game has like a really bad trophy delay too. Complete control and fear this. So yeah, this game has worse uh, trophy delay than a lot of games for whatever reason. I don't know why, but some games are just kind of like that. So that's something you gotta get used to with this game is the trophy delay is kind of aggravating, but overall it's not too, too tough. Okay, let's see what we get on the sinking. I think I'm around 3,900 trophies. I'm a little short of that right now, so pretty soon I will have 3,900 trophies, and I would like to have 4,000 trophies by the time I leave for college, which... This obviously won't be going up until, like, October, probably, or who knows when. It depends on how often I decide to upload my Platinum Trophy videos in college. So, yeah, I would like to have 4,000 trophies by that point in time, and I think that's definitely a possibility with the time I have left to do it. That's just, like, two more games. All right, Green Lantern, Rise of the Manhunters, 100% Platinum. Here's what it takes. Uh, ten trophies just for beating the game. And then complete a mission in co-op, and two more for completing the game on the highest difficulty they stack. Uh, so that's all that. That's all not too, too bad. And then just perform a combo. You just use the Green Lantern energy and the Gatling gun to get that. Really, really easy. And then trophies for getting kills with all the different weapons. 
Some of those you might have to grind out, and a lot of them are best done on the easiest difficulty, though you can get most of them still on the hardest difficulty, so it really doesn't matter that much, but it just, it does take a little while. And Ring Surge basically gives you infinite, like, Green Lantern Ring energy for a short time. Uh, you have to launch enemies into the air where you can just hit them with the triangle attack. Most of the time will do it. Get Dizzy, y'all. That's the one that I got just spin around a bunch of times. Wow, my internal clock is still behind. I should probably change that. Uh, reach level 10 of experience. You'll reach that by the end of the story and definitely by the end of the grinding. Uh, there's only 14 collectibles in the game. They aren't too hard to find, but there are guides for it. Uh, purchase all the attack upgrades and the ring surge upgrades, so those are all just purchasing things. Like I said, that's what you're going to have to grind out at the end of the game. But overall, not too challenging of a platinum trophy. So, after this, 3,890 trophies, level 23, 33% of the way through. This game actually was decent for trophy points. It had quite a few, like, golds and such. Uh, 62 Platinums, 314 Golds, 971 Silvers, 2,543 Bronzes. And that's it for this Platinum. So guys, my next Platinum will most likely be whatever my next Gamefly game is. I don't know what that'll be, but hopefully it'll be a PS3 game. I think I've got it set up to where I'll be getting uh, mostly PS3 games until I head off to college when I have my uh, PS4 with me and then I'll be getting PS4 games. So, I've been working on Shadow of the Colossus, but I do not expect to platinum it. However, I do expect to at least finish it and get a few more trophies out of it. Because it's a hard game to platinum. It's rated like an 8.5 out of 10, and I can see why. So, I'm working on that and getting at least a little more progress in that. But most likely, the next platinum will just be whatever the next uh, Gamefly game is. And that'll probably be the next few platinums, because I don't expect to buy a game anytime soon, except maybe Destiny. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. See you guys next time.